How's it going, everybody? Hey, Gina and I wanted to show you this uh, weather vane that we made this year for our haunted house. It's going to go on one of the sides, just right above the roof, and it's going to be haunted, and it's going to move. Uh, we've both been working on this thing a little bit here and there. Um, just wanted to show you before we move on to another project, but uh, basically... It consists of a uh, weather vane, obviously, that we welded up. Uh, Lydia gave us this part right here. There was actually like a little, um, a little eagle that was bolted to the top of it, but it was missing all the other parts. We basically just took the eagle off of it. And then what we did is we went to the metal store, and I think you can get this at the hardware store too. We just got some thin sheet metal, and Gina wanted to do an owl, so she drew out the little owl and then I took a little Dremel with a cutoff blade and I just cut the, the little shape out, the pattern, and then kind of sanded the edges, made sure they were smooth. And then uh, uh, you can see I just spot welded it right to the arrow. I had to grind off some of the black paint. And then, you know, because we had to add our little personal touch to it, wanted to uh, do HH instead of uh, doing like the north-south thing. and. Um, these were just some leftover rod that I had. It's hollow. I think it's like about half inch or, you know, almost three quarter inch thick. Uh, as you move down, I got it all bent up and stuff so it looks aged. So this portion right here that's supporting the, the rod is basically just an EMT conduit strap over a plastic bushing that just per fit this rod perfectly and you know there I greased it a little bit but it's just the steel rod sliding in and out of the the um, the plastic bushing there I did flatten this this side of it so I took a little grinder and basically just grinded that side flat so it would sit flush against this plywood um, as far as this frame goes it's gonna be able to screw right into my little angled pitched roof all right so here's what it looks like when it's on and again there's a little bit of uh, play in this thing right now only because I just have it clamped to the to the table from the bottom when we put it up on the roof it'll be locked in place up at the top as well so that'll kind of make it a little more rigid it does have some noise to it it's not too bad uh, it's gonna be up real high so that shouldn't even be an issue Here's the uh, four modules that we have that are gonna be lighting this thing. Um, they're the same ones that we use for all our tombstone lighting. It's gonna have the color that we pick kind of just shining up on it as it spins. We're not too worried about lighting it though because since, since this is gonna be kind of like a, a cool yard display, we're gonna have lightning and stuff. So we wanna make sure that, you know, there's lots of like fun things that people discover as they're standing there staring at the house and stuff. So this is definitely one of them that we're gonna have moving and, and they'll be able to go, oh wow, you know, the weather vane moves. So we have plenty of cord that'll reach all the way down to the ground. Uh, I have it temporarily just hooked up to a couple terminal blocks. We have this little, we have several of these little small power supplies. They're just one out outputs. They're like phone chargers basically, and you can run several of those modules off of that. Um, as far as the motor goes, I have a couple of these. These were um, motors that we got off McMaster Car uh, a few years ago. Um, this one is the same type of motor that we use for our breathing grave. Uh, it might be one that moves a little bit quicker or faster, but I'll put uh, the information on it down in the description. What's running the uh, motor right now is I have it wired to a dimmer switch, which is not as good as a speed control for a motor, but for what our purposes it works fine. We can kind of have control of either having it fast or slow. Sometimes it does change. Um, if we had it constantly just running off of this, the speed would be inconsistent. But since we have this four channel chase unit that is sporadically turning off and on, uh, it seems to be working okay. This is a really crude prop controller. We use it for all of our pneumatic props. Um, it's really nice because we'll basically just hook a, a motion sensor powering this and then we plug in several of our pneumatics to this and it just causes them to turn off and on and it gives it that haunted feel. It's definitely not as cool as a prop controller where you can actually control a sequence of action. 
But if you just want things to move off and on, like for a thrasher or a hangman in the past, this actually works just fine. It's really perfect. What this chase unit does is it turns it off and on and it kind of makes it feel like it's a little more sporadic. And we can adjust the, the speed of this thing. So like, let's slow it down a little bit. See, so you, with that dimmer switch, you do have some control of it. The problem is, is that over time, just like we learned when we did the haunted bell prop for a Western town, is it's not consistent. So sometimes it'll be fast or it'll slowly speed up and that kind of thing. So, but anyway, I think that, uh, I think we kind of like it where it goes a little bit quicker. That's our weather vane. I can't wait to see what this thing's going to look like up on the, the roof of the house. It's already getting some real cobwebs on it, which is nice. It's less, uh, less glue stick cobwebs I have to do. <laughs> well, I'll show you guys at nighttime what this looks like. Turn it on. Turn it on. <laughs> All right, guys, we wanted to show you what this thing looks like at nighttime. So here we go. There's the out of control owl. He's going for a spin. <laughs> I like the uh, cobwebs on it. Yeah, Very that's realistic. actually real. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's amazing when you put these LED lights on, yeah. the spiders are like, yeah! Woohoo! Anyway, this thing's uh, pointing you in the direction to Hollywood Haunter. I want to oh, go. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it looks like we're all directions. <laughs> we are. We're, we're moving across the land. Tell an owl joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, yeah, that was good. All right, with that. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys.